Number 27, an electron has a constant acceleration of 3.2 meters per second square. So the acceleration is 3.2 meters per second square. At a certain instant, its velocity is 9.6 meters per second. So let's call it the initial velocity, which is 9.6 meters per second. What is its velocity at 2.5 seconds earlier and 2.5 seconds later? So let's remind ourselves that when we have a an, uh, constant acceleration, we can use three different equations. And this is the whole purpose of this chapter of, of this book. So if the acceleration is constant, in, the, in this case it is constant, we can use x equal to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equal to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a times delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use if the acceleration is constant. And in this case, it is constant. So how do we know which equations should we use? You just mark the things that you don't know for example let's see we know the final position no we don't know, don't know the final position we know the initial position we can can say it's zero but well we can say it's zero the initial velocity we know we know the time it took well we know 2.5 seconds earlier or 2.5 seconds later we know t we know the acceleration, we do know the acceleration, and we know t as well. We know the final velocity, we don't know the final velocity. We know the initial velocity, we do know the initial velocity. Let me correct it over here. We do know the, 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 the initial velocity. We know the acceleration, we know, we know the time as well. We know the final velocity, we don't know. The final velocity. We know the initial velocity, we know the acceleration, and we don't know delta x. So we, you can see that if you want the velocity, which equations should you use? This equation over here, right? Because it is the only equation which v is alone here. The, the only thing that you don't know here is the, the, the final velocity. So that's the equation that you will use. So let's do it. So the velocity equals to the initial velocity plus acceleration times the time. So in letter A, we have that the final velocity equals to the initial velocity, which is 9.6, plus the acceleration, 3.2, plus the, the time, which is minus 2.5 seconds, because it's 2.5 seconds earlier. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find... 1.6 meters per second. Letter B, exactly the same thing you have to do. So V equal to V0 plus AT. The final velocity is what we want to know. The initial velocity is 9.6. The acceleration is 3.2. And the time is plus 2.5. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find 18 meters per second. This is the answer of this problem over here.